What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, good morning. Uh, it's uh, it's October fourteenth in the U.S. Um, and we're gonna look at some uh, update from around uh, the world, I guess, and um, Israel Palestine, and we'll hit on Ukraine for just a second, probably. Um, I don't have much experience in this, like, other than just watching the news and stuff, so it's basically just an opinion. That's nothing. Uh, <laughs> I have no knowledge of what's going on on the ground for other than this, this site and other news sites, so it's just all of opinion for me. <laughs> Airplanes targeted a building in Rafa and house in, okay, we're going to hit the main, the main topics because some of these are uh, small skirmishes and, uh, I don't really, there's no context of what it means, so um, really going to look at the more major escalational type things. <clears throat> so overnight, three apparent drones from Lebanon were intercepted by air defenses over Hafia uh, and Shif Amar in northern Israel. Israeli army says it also intercepted a missile fire at a drone Hezbollah sites targeted in response. Okay, so there's some fighting going on in northern Israel. We already knew that. <laughs> Israeli army reported during the night they attacked Hezbollah target in southern Lebanon in response to sending drones. Okay, so they responded. The Israeli army killed three militants who tried to, so they're trying to come across the Lebanese border, but at a smaller, kind of small self kind of. Um, Skirmishes, it seems, not more large scale. The Israeli, eight hours ago, the Israeli army has informed the residents of Gaza that between the hours of 10 and 1600, it will allow free movement between Hayam Street and Salah al Din Street in Gaza in order to create a humanitarian corridor that will allow the residents to flee to the south. Israeli army spokesman in Arabic. A spokesman in Arabic Adre to the residents if you care for yourselves and your loved ones take advantage of this and move south to Khan Yunus so at least they um, they did uh, uh, give them a route to escape there'll be some terrorists escape too but um, but uh, yeah that's always gonna happen but uh, you got to get the majority of the innocents out the Israeli army says that an overnight airstrike in the Gaza Strip, the head of the Hamas aerial array, Murad Abu Murad, was killed. The strike targeted a headquarters from which the group managed its aerial activity, according to the Israeli army. Okay. Let's see what this video is. So that's out down in the Gaza Strip. Okay, so nothing, um, there's no video anymore. Yeah, no video, okay. The Israeli army arrested senior Hamas officials in Nabalis. That's out in Israel, okay. Israeli navies newest and largest missiles, the Sarai 6, used for the first time since they were implemented in, in the Israeli army last year, Hamas rocket production facilities targeted. Okay, that's, yeah, that's, uh, should have. An Israeli, Israeli army tank killed two Palestinian militants, okay. Hamas targets with a new batch of rockets the towns in the vicinity of Gaza so they just launched them out of Gaza Iranian foreign minister <clears throat> there must be an agreement to stop Israeli Israel's crimes in Gaza immediately okay yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna comment on that I don't think I mean yeah, it's those crimes on both sides <clears throat> Four impacts and but to, to, to go back so yeah there's two wrongs don't make a right though so they they should 
have showed, okay, we can do this without indiscriminate bombings. You know, smaller, more tactical type type devices versus, versus these big ones. Uh, let's see. Iranian Foreign Minister, the resistance has taken into account all possible scenarios in this war. Okay. Is that... That almost sounds like a, an official declaration from Iran, but it's hard to say who's writing this and all that, for real. Um, I think it kind of mostly comes from Twitter. Or X. <clears throat> Director of al Awari Hospital. The Israeli bombings targeting the vicinity. Okay, Israeli army has killed three militants uh, from Lebanon. A suit probably broke through the northern fence. The Israeli army spokesman on the incidents in the north. Every incident is the full responsibility of the state of Lebanon and will bear the consequences. Okay, so they're telling them that uh, anything that happens out of Lebanon is the Le Lebanon's fault. Israeli army spokesman. At the moment, there are no attacks or attempted cyber attacks. We will continue. Oh, okay. Maybe that they don't have. I figured it would probably be coming in from the other, from like Iran and them, though, the uh, hackers. <clears throat> this Israeli army, the Rafah crossing, is closed, and any movement that takes place through it is coordinated with the Egyptian, oh, oh, Egyptian side. Sorry. Uh, destroyed Israeli helicopter. Jordanian foreign minister calls for a strict international stance to stop the Israeli escalation in Gaza. <clears throat> the launch of an Egyptian aid convoy provided by the National Alliance for Civil Action included including 115 trucks loaded with tons of humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip. I'm reading here on a different, on my phone, it popped in, it says, um, troops recover bodies of missing Israelis during localized raids on the Gaza Strip. I'm not sure if we'll get up to that now or not. I don't know if it'll pop in here. Central Israel, sirens activated, four injured in a, a fire, a mortar bomb okay it's crazy to just like scroll through that so quick like it was nothing but it's there's so much to get through the ministry of health in gaza 324 people were killed in the strip during the past 24 hours as a result of the israeli bombing preparations are being made to transport a number of seriously injured people to egypt via the rafah crossing after efforts to open a safe passage for urgent cases okay strikes and described. okay so that's in down Gaza area three dead in the Israeli bombing that targeted a house okay oh this is way up here Our fighters clashed with forces during the storming of the Jinan and the and Al Sultan camps in Jericho at, at dawn today. U.S. officials have negotiated a temporary opening at the Rafah border between Gaza and Egypt for U.S. citizens for U.S. citizens in Gaza seeking to flee the violence there," said a senior State Department official. So the so the U.S. people have to um, they they so the U.S. citizens are needing to go south and then they can cross into Egypt, but the other ones I guess can still not. IDF assassinated Ali Kaki, commander of a force in, in Dubai, in it, who led the attack, Hamas organization. Okay, initial reports of a Cornet ATGM being fired at a target in the settlement of the Gaza Strip. 
A group of our fighters crossed the, got, crossed the separation fence east Khan units and attacked enemy forces rallies, which led to destruction of three military vehicles and clashes. So they're trying to fight back in small areas, but it's pretty much probably like suicide, uh, suicide missions, uh, running into the army like that. <clears throat> Initial report suspicion of a hostile aircraft infiltration into the Gamot Garnot areas of Galilee. Wow. If that was four hours ago, let's see what happened there. Maybe it'll pop up. The time where was that at? I've zoomed in so far. So, okay, so just so that's the northern. Okay. <clears throat> the Thai government confirms that 24 of its citizens were murdered by Hamas. Okay, so Thai, come on. Israeli aviation hit the house in the east. Israeli army says siren of Granite Halgali was a false alarm. Israeli army says it carried out a drone strike against Hamas anti-tank guided missile squad. Uh, Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council brutal targeting and calls for displacement of Gaza require international intervention. France wants to deploy up to 7,000 soldiers to combat the threat of the violent pro-Hamas protests, which continue to grow. Yeah, France is, um, that they're, they have a high, uh, high concentration, of, I guess, of, um, Muslims in their, uh, in their, um, population. Um, uh, honestly, I mean, <laughs> I've never ran into any extremist, but I was never in, um, yeah, I guess, and I, I never was in like Paris area. I was more in the countryside. I mean, I was in Lyon, so it was kind of a big city, but everybody I met was super friendly. Uh, never had any issues. There was one issue one time where there was a suspected um, bomb or something in a train station, but um, because somebody like just, for, I think they like set their bag down and just, um, you know, like, wasn't paying attention and walked off without it. So they, like, f blocked everything off. And but that's the only thing I ever remember. And there was a raid um, compound there that had some um, RPGs and stuff like that that they fought um, they fought, they fought, um, fought a mission or a attack that they was going to be planning. But, <clears throat> but that's it. <clears throat> so let's see let's move on uh, try to speed this up a little bit um, Lebanese foreign ministry we will submit a complaint to the security council regarding the killing and wounding of two journalists Lebanese foreign ministry failure to put an end to Israeli attacks will ignite the entire region and threaten international peace and security that's what we're worried about uh, but Israel's not worried about it because we got big Warships out here. Anybody jumps in, we're going to be after them. Demonstrators block Kaplan Street in Tel Aviv uh, to demand the return of Israeli prisoners from Gaza. An Israeli security delegation arrived in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. I know how to say that. I say it all the time. I just can't say it for some reason. I'm reading Cairo to discuss developments and the situation in Gaza. Egypt refuses refused to allow American citizenship citizenship holders to pass through the crossing unless an agreement included the entry of aid into Gaza Strip. Hmm. Interesting. So I mean, yeah, I'll use it as a bargaining chip. I mean, we're gonna. I mean, why not? We want the street aid to go in anyway. Um, Hamas says nine hostages, including four foreigners, have been killed. Facebook has deleted Palestinian media company, the, uh, what have you said that, from the platform. A missile bombardment targets Israeli sites in 
Uh, okay, the U.S. State Department allows non-essential employees and their family members to leave the embassy in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv offices. Okay, starting to heat up. Once they pull out all their people, it's on. If you see that announced that um, all the U.S. citizens need to leave, then you'll see it's... Um, it's, it's, it's escalating. Israeli army says it is returning fire at Lebanon. Israeli bombings in a neighborhood southeast of Khan Yunus, uh, Governor South, okay. U.S. Department of State, <coughs> of State. State Department authorized the departure of non emergency U.S. government personnel. Okay, that we just read. Uh, okay. The Israel Lebanon border now clashes reported. The border or area following ATGM and mortar rocket fire from Lebanon so there that's about an hour ago um, on the border up here with Lebanon I wonder what the, I'm not sure what this means if it's a um, oh, is there a key here no that's probably for the API okay I'll check it out and see um, Okay, I'll, I'll play with it and see uh, later, and then next mate, next uh, next uh, video we will. Um, I'll see if I can um, get some more information in here. I've just been pulling it up and going. Uh, haven't really uh, paid much attention. <coughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, an hour ago, following his meeting with leaders from Resistance Front, Iran. FM, I'm not sure what that is, um, warned Israel its backers to stop attacks on Gaza immediately or it will be too late in the next few hours. He said the chance for political and international in in initiative is still there, but tomorrow is too late. Oh, well, that's, huge. that's a big statement, bold statement there. This is getting out of hand. Israeli artery, artillery shelling targets most of the heights of Bastra. Okay, I'm not sure how to say most of those words, so I'm not going to try to butcher them up for everybody. Lebanese Hezbollah, we fired mortar shells and anti tank guided missiles. Okay, 14 minutes ago, Palestinian Minister of Health, 15 hospitals in the Gaza Strip were damaged by Israeli bombings. 12 minutes ago, casualties in the new and new Israeli bombings of a house. Okay. About nine minutes ago, Israeli forces strike the residential homes in the middle of uh, this Deir al Bala city. At least 12 civilians were killed and dozens were injured. Planes destroyed in a house of citizens Abdu, Abdul, Western, okay, Beirut, Beirut, no, that's not Beirut, it's Beit Le Lahia. <coughs> Israeli army says it struck a terrorist cell in Lebanon that is suspected of planning out to carry an anti-tank guided missile attack against troops in the area. Earlier, some 30 mortars were launched. And finally, uh, well, I'll refresh it real quick, but uh, three minutes ago it says, Biden, we call on Israel to respect the laws of war. So is that him trying to keep Iran out of it? Um, let's see what I just see that at. No, that was President. Oh, where did I see Biden said that at? Oh, here we go. Okay. 17 minutes ago, sirens sound. In a, so er, earlier I was saying those were a minute, uh, a few minutes ago, but it wasn't because uh, I did when I refreshed it, it updated the, the time. So it was uh, about 20 minutes off. Sirens sounded, sirens sound in the settlements of Pitya, Tevik. And then finally, two mortally wounded form from, we, from a weapons explosion in 
the background and an accident and not a security incident. Okay. So this is, they're saying this is probably not involved in, oh wait, no, it's mortally wounded from a weapons explosion. An accident, not a security incident. Okay, okay, so it's not so, some fighting going on, just something exploded and killed somebody on that, or hurt somebody maybe, oh, mortally wounded, so yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, so it's pretty bad, but. That's it for Israel-Palestine for this morning. Uh, we might do another one this afternoon, but not a lot goes on. Uh, well, throughout the day there might be. Uh, so maybe midday I'll do another one before um, uh, getting on uh, doing some other videos. Um, this one we're not going to go through much. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same each day and day out on this one. Um, now it's kind of coming to a stalemate along this front line here. Um, with uh, the only thing I did see, there was a um, statement from Zelensky. Um, okay, we read that yesterday. So there was a statement from Zelensky. On, it's not on here, but um, I think they're worried that the U.S. and everybody's going to start to back out of um, Ukraine. Uh, and start focusing here, which technically is the case. I mean, the U.S. population news cycle uh, it will change, and then now we're focused here and not here. So um, he basically has said he's changing his war stance. I mean, he still needs the backing of all of NATO and everybody for the time being, but um, they're going to beef up their uh, production capabilities of. Um, their own defense. The problem is, I mean, you start building something, they're going to start bombing these uh, missiles, and they haven't been bombing in a long time, so that means they've been probably producing them. So uh, it could be coming, uh, an air, air assault could be coming sooner than later, maybe. This is just an opinion or just a um, I guess. I mean, of course, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, from me uh, for today from the, for this video so uh, please like and share subscribe if you uh, enjoy uh, the update uh, and I'll see you next time